The Happy at Home login event should be available for everyone. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. So I'm going to cover that, what to do if you're still not seeing it, where to provide feedback on the event, more information on that user setting file, and there's a Sims 4 sale on EA.com. So The Sims tweeted, we're happy at home with the happy at home event items. Available now to all players, so hop in game and claim your rewards. Learn more at their blog post on it, which I'll link to everything down below, including to that blog post. So just as a reminder, when this launched a couple of weeks ago, The Sims also tweeted that everybody will get access to the event by June 13th, which is now. It's a, that it was a phased rollout, but that there's no impact to receiving it a bit later as all players will have the full five weeks to claim the rewards, which was the main thing I wanted to make clear that if you're just getting it now, you should be seeing that you have five weeks left to get it. So just a brief summary from that blog post about the events in Sims 4. So there are a limited time experience with some free rewards for or gameplay that adds new opportunities to your game. So this is just a new platform. This is not a one-off. They're planning on using it. How long they're going to use it for, I'm not really sure because they have come up with other things that sometimes they don't do. But um, I have a full video on these details that if you want to see that and my thoughts, uh, I'll link it at the end. So again, those are the items that you can get starting week one, two, three, and four. And if you're just getting it, you'll be at the week one items as opposed to obviously those of us who got at the beginning were at the week three items. So Crin tweeted, from what I see, everybody should have the happy home login event now, but there are a few strays. And so there's a new area to post if you don't see the freezer bunny tile. So here is that EA Answer Headquarters post that Crin has created. So here are some troubleshooting steps you should take before posting. So you should do an EA app recovery which is menu help app recovery, which is the same thing as saying clearing your EA app cache. Of course, this is obviously only for people who are playing through the EA app. Make sure that you're testing without mods and CC because some can block it, especially if you haven't updated your mods to get rid of those, but we don't know about all of them. So you need to test without them. Delete your SIM cache files. Um, the main one I do is the local thumb cache file, but if you go to this, it'll link and show you more details and to repair your game. So if that didn't help and you don't see the freezer bunny tile, so if you're curious what you're supposed to see, here's my main menu in the top left hand corner. There is the freezer bunny tile that says happy at home login event. So that's what you're looking for. If you don't have that, then you should post in this thread and answer the questions that are listed there, which are, you should say what platform you're playing on, and you can see the list of the different platforms that you would be mentioning and choosing from, uh, what your game version is, which on the main menu, that would be in the bottom right hand corner. I'll throw that main menu that I have and you can see it there. Then what language is your game? What country are you in? And again, just to confirm, do you have that freezer bunny tile that we have seen already? Do you have any mods or CC in your game? And then for the EA app, i.e. if you're playing through there, please provide the EA app error report number, which there is a link there to show how you are going to do that. So that's if you're not seeing the freezer bunny. Here are the rest of the things. Um, and including a link to the event. So you have more information, which I sort of gave a highlight there. So if you're finding the daily login rewards confusing, there is a thread to provide feedback, but also on the main menu, there is this shiny new survey. So if you're seeing that, that is also for the login event that you can provide your feedback there too. Um, if you're having an issue where you see the event, but you can't claim the reward, you have the freezer bunny tile in your game, you don't get the pop-up. So do those same things that are suggested that if you don't see the freezer bunny tile in the top, and if that's still not working, then select that and go comment over there. The next one is you can't claim week X rewards. So there is a cool down, right? So it's a bit confusing because on the screen, I'll show a little screenshot. When you claim, it'll tell you to come back and claim like the next day. But if you've already claimed everything for the week, then there is nothing to claim the next day. You're to ignore that and come back when the next week starts. And there's another one where your claimed items have disappeared and you have to start over. And that seems to be tied to the user settings.ini files. So um, I'll cover that a little bit more. 
after this. And then the event disappeared from the main menu. Please answer those same questions in the first post, but post on that thread there. So essentially they have different threads for what your scenario is, but if you have another issue than any of those there, create a new thread is what they're saying. So for that user settings or user setting .ini file, this is where you can find it. And this of course is only useful for those who play on computer. So your rewards are tracked there. So you should be making a backup of that. And just as a point, if you don't show your extensions, then you won't see that dot INI, which is why Crin had that in brackets. So you might just say, see user setting as opposed to user setting dot INI. I show my extensions so that I can see what everything is. I just prefer to do that. Um, but that's something that you should be making a backup so that you keep everything. And that's if you say play on more than one computer, or if you move to another computer, you want to take that particular file with you to your other computer. Otherwise you will lose your things because they are not tied to your EA account. Uh, they are tied to that particular file. So some people were thinking that it was like tied to the computer and I can see why because it's tied to that file which is local to the computer but you can move it to another computer by taking that with you. So that's actually really important. One, like I said, you should be making a backup i.e. copying it and keeping uh, that copy elsewhere, perhaps on an external hard drive or USB key, or if you have somewhere on the web, or even just somewhere else on your computer, that won't protect if your hard drive fails, but at least it'll protect from anything happening to this particular file. This is relevant for a couple of things. In addition to like taking it, if you go to another computer, is sometimes if you're having issues with your game, you might be asked to do a factory reset of your game or a user folder reset. Krenrick has a guide on that. So that is one of the things that you need to copy, keep that copy and put it back in. Otherwise, again, you will lose everything. And some people have been reporting that if they are doing a game repair, that that's causing that file to essentially reset to nothing. And so they're losing all their items. I personally have done repairs and not had any problems since the event started. And I know I saw that Krenrick. So it's not everybody is getting it, but because some people are, again, backing up that file is really, really important because that'll help you get that back. I really hope at some point that they'll actually tie it to the EA account because this, I think, is a bit problematic having it tied into this settings file. But um, only time will tell. And it was something when I did that survey, I provided that feedback. I thought that it was a bit confusing to have it in that file and that it really should be tied to the account and not to that file because it's very easy to for many people not to know about that and to essentially lose the things that they unlocked. Of course, if you do lose the things that you unlocked, the items are on the gallery. There's tons of rooms up there. I have one, but there's tons of rooms up there that V2 event, you'll get the items, the build by items. It doesn't help very much with the creative sim items or the trait, but it will at least get you the items if you want. And if you're a mod CC user, it's already been unlocked that way. So just as I mentioned, there is a sale right now. This is specifically here that I'm showing for Sims 4. This is not unique to Sims 4. EA is just having a sale on their games. It runs till June 20th. And so expansion packs are 50% off, except for for rent, which is 25% off and horse ranch, which is 38% off. Game packs are 30% off. Stuff packs are 30% off also, except for Crystal Creations and Home Chef Hustle. They're both only 20% off. Kits aren't included in the sale and pre-built bundles are 20% off. I don't know if there's any sales on other platforms. This is just what I happened to see when I went into my EA app, but also on the home screen, it has a mention there that things are on sale. But if you're not seeing your home screen, you may not have seen that. So let me know what you think. Do you have the event yet? Have you been participating in it and collecting them and making sure that you keep that file safe? Unfortunately, I don't know what that means for console because... That's another issue with it not being tied to the account and being tied to some file there that if a console player moves to another, I don't know how you move them across, honestly. If you have heard anything about that, I'd love to know in a comment down below. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!